After Apsaras had written the things that Aradia had instructed him to write, he journeyed with 200 Hittions to the lands of the east. After journeying for over a year, he came into the land of Madana, near present-day Aga, India. Aradia had placed all of his knowledge in Apsaras, so Apsaras would readily know of these things. Apsaras taught the people of Madana all his knowledge and stayed with them for more than five years, building temples and schools for the teachings of the Hittian Way. Apsaras kept a journal during his stay in Madana, which became known as the Book of Madana, and in which he transcribed his daily life and teachings while there. The Book of Madana is completely different from the rest of the QAR Beth books, although in itself it has teachings. There are no surahs in the book, but rather timetables, places and meetings of persons and events with persons. After having traveled for over a year, I, along with my children, followers of the Hittion faith, have arrived in a most beautiful land, which I have learned is called Madana. The people of this land are friendly and they are anticipating the message that I bring to them as they are confused about creation. We have been here for a week, and during that time, many Madanas have come to listen to my teachings. I met a man today that has been a high priest of their erstwise religion. His name is Amashak, Amashak. I laid my hands upon his head and confirmed him a member of our tribe. Although he had been a high priest in the Madana religion, he was only glad to give it all up and follow the Hittian way. He became the first Madana follower. I anticipate many more followers before long. We have been here for one month and already more than 100 Madanas have joined our faith. Amashak became a Dhaka today. He is very devoted to the teachings. This village is called Ramashajiva. It is rather large and most of the people here come each day to the square to listen to the Hittian teachings. Some of the Hittians whom arrived here with me have a great desire to go unto other villages and teach. I held counsel with two of my caliphs and two patriarchs and one matriarch. After our meeting, we told our people that if they wanted to go unto other villages, they were free to go but that I needed them to help me confirm membership into the tribe of the Madanas and to help me teach them, and that in time I would go with them unto the other villages. They all decided to stay, and today, before the setting sun, fifty more Madanas came into the Hittion tribe. We have been here for over seven months, and Amarashak became a high priest today. He is now a Moskas and will carry on the work in this village while I travel with some of my tribe to other villages to teach there also. We have arrived at Masasamas a small settlement quite some distance from Ramahajiva. The villagers had heard of us and were happy at our coming to teach them. Many persons from surrounding villages were there also, and the numbers of persons there were well over 500. Although we were tired from our journey, I put all my efforts forth and taught many things that day. Yesterday upon my arrival there, I spoke for many hours, teaching all of those that wished to listen of the teaching of Aradia. Before the sun had come up, I rose, ate, and went once again into the villages of Masasamas and taught once again. Near sundown, more than 100 persons joined our religion. We have been here for two months, and our number has swelled to over 600 persons joining our faith. One of my caliphs will stay here and teach while I journey to other villages. I arrived in a large city today called Argamaramak. There seems to be many strange religions here, but the people here heard of my coming and have camped in large numbers in the middle of the city. I was escorted to the palace of the ruler of Madana and have been made a welcomed guest. I taught the ruler also, and he and his family are happy to hear the teachings. I have been in Argamaramak for eight months. So far, more than 1,200 persons have joined the faith, as well as the Madana ruler and his family. Missionaries from my tribe are pouring all over Madana now. I am preparing to return to Ramashajiva. After traveling for quite some time, I have once again arrived back in Ramashajiva. I went unto the house of Amerashak and ordained him a bishop, as he had brought over 300 persons into the Hittion religion. Amashak has asked to go on a mission, and I have sent him to the whole of Madana. I have been in Madana for two years now, and Amarashak has brought in nearly as many in the Hittion tribe as I have. He has learned most of the teachings and devotes all his time in practicing and teaching the religion. Amarashak joined the Hittion tribe two and a half years ago, and today I ordained him a caliph in a high papal mass before 5,000 Hittians. There was chanting, dancing, and feasting. Amarashak is the first Madana to become a caliph and is the fifth caliph of the faith. He has been put in charge of all of Madana. During his ordination, the avatar chant of this part of the world was chanted in a singing way. The chant was used for the first time by Hittians. 
It was OM Main Padme HVM, and by tradition it was chanted seven times. We paused, chanted seven more times. We paused and then chanted it nine more times. All was elated. The power could be felt by every person. Aradia could be felt strongly in everyone. This has been the greatest eventful stay since our arriving in Madana two and a half years ago. We have started building a large temple in Ramashijiva, as well as schools for the Hitian teachings. The village has turned into a large city, swelling the population from little under 5,000 persons to over 50,000 persons. Ramashajiva has become the new capital of Madana, and the Majaraha, ruler, has begun building his new palace here. It has been three and a half years since we have arrived in Madana, and there are more than 10,000 followers in Madana now. Everyone in the tribe lives comfortably. There are many industries. All are healthy and happy. Ramashajiva has grown to 25,000 more persons. The new palace will be more splendid than the old palace and larger. After four years of being in Madana, I have moved into the new palace of the ruler and have started to transcribe even more teachings for which I know in my heart. Amarashak has become a constant friend and companion of mine and is helping me in every way. After having been in Madana for five years, and after seeing more than 25,000 Madanas join the faith, I had decided it was time for me to leave and go into other parts of the world and give my teachings. Amashak had reached Magoda Mystic and had changed his name to Jiro Jironi, which means higher plane consciousness in the Madana dialect. He is headed for masterhood, and when he obtains it, he will visit me wherever I might be. When one reaches masterhood, they live in their present bodies for all of eternity, become perfect in every way, in perfect health, perfect being, perfect thought, perfect harmony, and perfect power. They cross dimensions at will. They go onto the abode of AK at will, or travel the cosmos, or walk through stone and fire. They cannot die, or can they be harmed or slain. As I prepare to leave this most beloved land, the ruler, Zoraka, has obtained Magoda Kasman and is also a patriarch in the faith. Zoraka has been a great friend and a most kindly ruler. I shall miss him. More than five years have passed with us in Madana as we start out for the lands of the north. There will be more than 100 traveling with me, as well as some Madanas who do not want to leave my side. I bid all of Madana farewell as I am leaving to spread the teachings to more of the world. Please like and subscribe.